Hey guys, Jamie here. I'm gonna be doing your rules video for our NNL qualifier here at Ultimate Ninjas in St. Louis. Uh, this is gonna be the rules for the competition. We will not be doing a full rules walkthrough at the day of the competition. For the competition, uh, for COVID precautions, everyone must be wearing a mask the entire time they're in the facility. Uh, it must block light. It must not have any valves or holes, uh, and it must fit the face without any big gaps. Uh, if you have a wire in it, that would be even better, uh, but not required. Uh, we're going off of the CDC guidelines. Uh, there was a link in the email that went out earlier if you want to check those out. So uh, when you're competing, uh, you have a separate area just for the athletes. You'll have a separate party room. Uh, and you guys will have a warm-up area as well. Now, only you and any NNL certified coaches are allowed in there. Spectators, you can hang um, in the spectator area. Most of it's going to be on the blacktop. Uh, you'll be able to see most, if not all, of the obstacles from there. So we're going to get on to the rules video. If you have any questions, there'll be time when we get started before we run any runners or start a warm-up uh, that you guys can ask questions as a group. Then when it becomes your turn to run, you can ask any questions that you might have thought of. Uh, and then again, uh, on the course, if anything comes up, feel free to ask uh, any crazy ideas you have. I want to see you guys do some cool stuff. I want to make it fair for everyone and don't want anyone to get disqualified. All right, guys, this is the course rules video for the preteens division. Hey, ninjas, welcome to the rules walkthrough video for the preteens division of Ultimate Ninjas NNL. Uh, so we're going to go through every course. We will not do a rules walkthrough during the day of, so pay attention. Uh, you can ask any questions you want when we get here. Uh, I'll offer it up to the group for the entire wave, and then again when you get to the starting line. Everyone must be wearing a mask the entire time they're in here, unless you're grabbing a drink of water. Make sure the mask hooks onto your ears so it does not uh, fall down. Uh, every athlete gets one spectator. If you have a coach, that coach does not count as a spectator, but they must be an NNL certified coach so they can come out on the floor with you. Good. At your start, I will give you a three, two, one, and it's gonna go boop, 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 boop. That's your cue to go. If you fall start, you get one reset. If you fall start twice, that's the end of your run, and the rest of it's a fun run, none of it will count. If you fall on any obstacle, you may continue on to the next one, but you're gonna be scored and ranked upon where your first fall is. Again, if you fall in any age division, keep going through the course until time runs out or you complete the course. Good. At your start, I will give you a three, two, one, and it's gonna go boop, 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 boop. That's your cue to go. If you fall start, you get one reset. If you fall start twice, that's the end of your run, and the rest of it's a fun run, none of it will count. If you fall on any obstacle, you may continue on to the next one, but you're going to be scored and ranked upon where your first fall is. Again, if you fall in any age division, keep going through the course until time runs out or you complete the course. We're going to start on this green stepping stone. Uh, Preteens, hands and feet, skipping stones, starting on this platform, ending on the blue platform out in the end. It looks something like this. Clear. Keep in mind, if these are not hit center, they can tip and tumble. Cool. We'll move on to the obstacle two, tree jumper. Uh, you're going to start on this platform, jumping to the truss. You can use hands, feet, whatever you want on the truss. I would suggest not grabbing the top of the black because that is flimsy. You can bounce around. This obstacle is complete. And you make contact with that tree. Clear. Right. Obstacle three, monkey swinging. You may utilize the rings and the bananas to get from this truss to that truss. When you make contact with that truss, you've completed this obstacle. Hands only. You may not grab the bolt or the straps or the carabiners. Only the yellow and the wood. Oh, yeah. 
Obstacle four, balance beam, feet only on the beam. You may use hands on the spider if you want. You may not touch the blue. Off limits, just the beam. Make it all the way down to your touch point of this step. Once you make contact with this step, you've completed that previous obstacle. All right. Cool. Clear. Incidental with this is totally fine. You may not grab over the top. Brush against it, kick off of it, that's okay. But no grabbing or using the top surface of it. Okay? These red X's I mean, do not touch. Only the log portion. All right, now starting on the vine climb. You can use anything on the wall to get up to that black pipe. Uh, hands and feet on the wall, hands only on the black pipe. You've completed this obstacle when you make contact with the black pipe above you. I'll show you an example. Send them for you. There is now a green ring for you guys to make your way to the slider ring. Again, you can use any part of the wall uh, to get to that ring, and then you've completed the vine climb from there. Clear. Next up, we have downstream. From the black bar, you may use hands only on the ring. You may only use the ring, and you're ending on that red platform. Cannot overshoot. Obstacle is going to start on that red platform. Bunny hop, red platform, the green one, hands, feet, whatever you want. You can utilize the carbonet. Keep in mind the bottom is not attached. Must cross that front plane. Hey guys, next obstacle. Caterpillar, you may not use any slings whatsoever. You have your green platform. You have these green tubes. You wanna come around here. This big X, not allowed to use this green one at all. Incidental contact of scraping against it or bouncing into it, I'll be okay with that. But there is no using it for support or pushing. Don't make it my call. Avoid using it at all costs. You may utilize this black box. You may utilize the acorn and its hands, feet, whatever you need for all the pieces. I'll show you an example. <sighs> call this the capitated caterpillar. You got this! Ta-da! You got the green platform. You use hands, feet, whatever you want on this BOSU ball. Hands only on the purple sun. Hands only on the green ring. Ending when we get to the green platform at the end. Looks like this. We've got the balance bars, white only, no footies, cannot use the pad, cannot use the truss, getting from this green platform to that one. It looks like this. Next up is the salmon ladder. So on this green platform, you complete this obstacle when you make contact with this green wing nut. They're hand-only obstacles, so hands only on the silver bar and the wing nut. You may utilize this gumdrop, hands and feet, however you want, and any part of the salmon ladder using this bar is okay. Clear. We have the bat wing, hands-only obstacle, you can use any part of the green wing nuts or the yellow bananas from your previous obstacle to get to 
this green platform here. I'll show you an example. There. All right. Awesome. Next up, we got the sea turtle. You may utilize the sea turtle eggs and the sea turtle himself. Now he does slide. You need your hands, feet, any of these pieces you want for the rope, hands only. It's going to be Velcroed here. And you just pull it off at any point that you like. It ends when you get to that green platform down the end. I'll show you an example. Boop, boop. The turtle legs are not attached. They'll be marked and set when you go eyes forward every time. However, if you go off track or tip it up, they can come off and that'll be on you. When you guys are pushing this block, remember you have to stay within here. So anywhere, hands to elbow, I'll allow. Uh, but if we're getting in that shoulder, this can DQ you. Uh, so elbow to wrist, all that is good for you to utilize. I'll show you a demo. Next, so you've got any part of this curved black surface of the warp ball to utilize, but only the bar on the 12 foot. This noodle is to help remind you where you're going. This bar is off limits, all the other warp ball bars, and the top is off limits. Your landing platform is up here. Cannot make contact until you cross the plane and make your way all the way on top. So I'll show you an example. Clear. Now you can make your way to the next obstacle any way you like, you will not be disqualified. Three teams, make your way down over two. Next obstacle, this is your starting platform. Keep in mind it does wiggle. Now, from the starting platform, you may only utilize the green ledges to get to that green platform at the end. This is a hands only obstacle. You complete this obstacle when you lay on that green platform and hit the buzzer. The top of that box is your buzzer. I'll show you an example. Hey! 